Today's chemistry video is about the non-metal elements in the periodic table. I'm playing a game or a quiz where I have to sort the correct element in its position in the periodic table where the elements are randomly generated at the start of the game. So, if I do it correctly, I can open this door and see what is there behind it. <laughs> Let me begin with the first element, which is the hydrogen. Natural appear appearance in sun, storms, in air. The hydrogen is present in the human body. And while I'm here, let's see how we can uh, guess which element is on which position. Now, hydrogen has one electron or no electron in its atom. So it is basically the first element. Now, the second element should have two electrons in his atom structure. But this is a general rule and it doesn't apply for every element, I think, because it is much more complicated as the elements, the atoms uh, and molecules have layers and um, layers with protons and electrons, one, two, and more. Now the hydrogen have only one layer, so it is electron, one electron. Besides, some of the nonmetal elements are reactive nonmetals, and the other are the noble gases. Now the noble gases are here on the at the most right part of the periodic table and they're in blue color. So I'm searching for the second element which is, now I can use the SK to rotate the elements. That should be helium, helium. The helium is a noble gas and it is the second element in the periodic table with two electrons circling in the atom. Natural appearance in Sun in, and in planet Jupiter, for example, it is used for flying balloons and it is not present in the human body. Now, everyone from the noble gases cannot be found in the human body while the other reactive nonmetals, most of them, they can be found in the human body. So, second element, now, uh, element 3 and 4 are alkali elements, so I'll skip them and we'll play the alkali quiz in the next movies. Right. <laughs> right. So, 3, 4, 5, that should be the 6th element. Now, the 5th element, I think, is a metal. It's a metal. But we are looking at the non-metals. So, I'm rotating them to find the carbon. This is the 6th element and in general it has six electrons in the atom. Natural appearance in every life form present in the human body. Now the element seven that is nitrogen but it is not sorted correctly. Here is the nitrogen, the seventh element. I can use the hint but I will do it 
later for obvious reasons. Now the nitrogen has seven electrons in his atom. It is used for protein fuel present in the human body. So if uh, I had to take a bodybuilding, I should uh, consume nitrogen rich foods and drinks like the coffee or not. <laughs> Eight. Hmm? Now the eighth element is the oxygen. Very popular chemical element, natural appearance, appearance in the air. The air is rich of oxygen actually. Our Air is 21% oxygen, <coughs> uh, present in the human body, of course, and uh, it has 8 electrons in general. The element 9 is the fluorine. It is used in the toothpaste, and this is one of the reactive nonmetal that it is not present in the human body. Fluorine is actually uh, poisonous in large dosages. In large in larger dosage. Dosages. Plural. Yes, and because of it there are toothpastes that uh, or at least they say they do not use fluorine. Fluorine. Now the element number 10 is a noble gas and it is the neon. I just need to sort it correctly in the periodic table. Right, where are you? There it is. There is the neon. This is maybe something 20. Okay, I'll check that later. And now I think it is a good time to use the hint. When I press it, it will show which elements are sort correctly. Now I will only try to sort the first in the row, so I can get the number. There it is. That is false, false. Mm -hmm. This is something of 40. Huh. Ah, there it is, 53. And the hint has expired. Okay, I'll continue in the row. Uh, now, the next element from the non-metal elements, elements is the phosphorus. With a number of 15. Now it should have has 15 electrons in its atom. Natural appearance in the body, in the human bones, and is present in the body. The next element of the non-metals is the element number 16, which is uh, this is the sulfur. Natural appearance in egg yolks. It is present in the human body, although it is strange because uh, when it uh, is in a solution with water, it can become dangerous, I think, or maybe not. Another reactive non metal element. The next non-metal element is not carbon, but because we have it already, this is number 17. It is a yellow one, that is the chlorine. It is used in swimming pools as disinfectant and it is not present in the human body. 
now I can see that the elements from the <coughs> right yellow row are actually not present in the human body. Maybe all of them. Okay, chlorine. And element 18 is the argon, another noble gas with approximately 18 electrons in the atom. It is used in light bulbs and it is not present in the human body like I noticed earlier all of the noble gases are not present in the human body. And now I'm going to the next nonmetal which is in the next in the lower row of the periodic table that is the selenium used in copiers copy machines and it is not present in the human body. Actually elements with that such electron numbers are pretty rare I think. Let's see which one is 35. Let me use that K. Ah, there it is. That is the bromine used in photography and it is not present in the human body. Bromine. Bromine. The next one, element number 36, CK. 36, who are you? It is, it is a blue one, but which one? Ah, there it is. Krypton. Interesting. It is used in flashlights, not present in the human body. I think also Krypton is dangerous for Superman <laughs> or something like that. And uh, let's see. Uh, I used my hint. So I'm not sure that this element is 53. But hey, let's sort the noble gas, the next noble gas in, in the column and I will tell which is the previous element. Now it's not neon, it is not krypton, I think it is the xenon. Fifty-four, yes, so the iodine is 53. That should have has 53 electrons in the atom. How does this atom hold them? But I have to trust on the people who have made the electronic the <laughs> the periodic table. And there are two more elements to sort from the non-metal that is one reactive non-metal and one noble gas where the noble gas should be the radon let me just make it there is the radon and it is element 86 and I think those elements after the lanthanids they are radioactive. So before the radon as number 85 should be an element that is also considered a metal. That is what I remember for it and that is the astatin. Uh, and it is, of course, radioactive. Lately considered as metalloid. It seems that it is used in medicine. And the radon used for surgical implants and it's not present in the human body. I think this is the correct 
arrangement of the, non, the, of the non metal elements now i have to try and open that door yes and what mission success now you know more and what i found is an old alchemical uh, scroll that says transmute lead into gold lead atomic number is 82 and gold atomic number is 79 the numbers are the protons they possess usually the protons are equal to the electrons but again i don't think that apply in all cases i'm still newbie in chemistry but i really like to learn a lot about it for my future projects <laughs> now changing the element requires changing the atomic proton number if you find the tools or the means to remove three protons from the lead atom and tada you have the gold to or mean make sure you do not <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay so this is the educational dosage for today until next time and new meetings.